Hey guys, Mr. J here. Welcome back to another Frostpoint video. In today's video, as you can see here by the title, the side quest is now available. So it says here the lucky chest. I go, the dwarf is again ready to help immortals open the magical chest at the fisherman's camp um to get gifts from the chest you will have to find special keys all right so at the fisherman's camp that would be the location where the new side quest is available so it's um required to find some lucky keys and then you because we did get this past event here but let's see if it's something different here um so you see here fisherman camp we then join the story and then i realized the mystery chest is back I'll give you one key to it for free, to open it for free, but I don't really have a bunch of them. So if you can't wait to open the chest again, you for, oh, it's fish, okay. Using a little lure, using any lure. All right, so you basically have to fish here um, using any lure to get the keys to then open the chest. So it says here, use my field workshop to make weapons for parts you can get from the chest. Okay, let's go ahead and open this right here. So it did give us one key. So it's the lucky chest. This is basically something that we did get before. And with these keys though, <laughs> this is the hardest thing to get. The seal, the weapon seal, Alfar's um, weapon seal. These are very hard to get, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. And these Alfar's um, weapons are actually really good. Um, I actually wanted the Draven shield and axe. This is like mad dangerous, bro. The dagger here oh this is the new dagger that is available all right your attack has 20 percent chance to create a fire zone for five seconds um every second the zone deals damage to enemies equal to two percent of their max okay so basically you could just um summon a fire zone here um i'm wondering if it's like a control type magic thing it looks cool that definitely looks cool but it's not pretty easy to get bro because you'd have to get these um weapon seals here and it's pretty hard to get it bro you'd have to be quite lucky so the way that you do um get that here all right so we're going to test it here um all we need is to make a rod we'd have to grab um lures which we don't have any lures so we'd have to make some lures which is right at the bench right here we'd have to make the lures to then be able to get well we'd have to go fishing to then get the keys all right, so all you need here is the fish fillet and you also need carrots to make a different type of lures. We do have quite a amount of fish here, so we could then fillet these fish and also bring some carrots. Uh, then we'll be able to definitely um, make some lures, then we could um, do some fishing. So a secret, lo well, it's not a secret location, but a good location to fish um, so that you don't um, face any PVPs is your personal um district zone that will be the secret grove um you'd have to activate it in the popular district to then gain access to that zone um only your family members and you can go to that zone that zone does have um ponds to then fish or you could visit these um these zone here which is the yellow zone and farm there and you could then fish and get yourself some fish well let's go ahead and see how lucky we're all we are we are to get the keys i don't think it should be very hard to get um once you do have all the necessary resources and all that i don't think it should be hard to get all right so we can make the shiny lures and we can make the shell lure uh, all right so that would be it and you'd have to sp all right let me show you guys something real quick so you can't fill it the fish right here you know in the opening you'd have to go closer to the bench so if you're wondering how to actually do this you'd have to go closer to the bench to then fill it yep. the so fish. closer to the bench here and you can then fill it the fishes and you cannot um, fill it the fish without being close to the bench so if you're you know wondering why it's not working for you you'd have to go closer closer to the bench Let's go ahead and just craft some more of these here. It's a good thing that I did, you know, brought 10 of these. I think it's way too much, but it's it's fine. That is definitely fine. Also, to remind you guys that they did indeed reduce the um, the amount of resources to craft some of these weapons here. So they're, they're more easier to craft and a little bit more cheaper. Oh, yeah. Let me craft the regular lures. Yes, sir. Purpose. Oh, my goodness. For content's sake, I'll just go to, you know, the zone here. 
and i think i should have just um, i'm just gonna reset the zone here you know to get a fresh zone but i think i should have just brought two rods only brought one rod so i that could work that could work we'll just farm one of these ponds here and see what we get the zone is completely empty because we did reset the zone but there is a possibility to enter a zone with which is already used so stay super safe and vigilant bro anything could happen so we're getting basic stuff here all right let's go ahead and just um start the lore um so we did equip a lore try not to miss fishing let me see okay all right so we did get a rare fish yes, sir with this lore, we are guaranteed to get like tier 3 fish. So that is good. Just don't miss the mark here. Okay, we did get one more. Okay, that could work. Alright, so we do have a couple of tries here. It's only three that we could catch. And then the lore would rear off. Let's go ahead and just go again. I'm just hoping that I don't get PvP, bro. Because I have on good gear. Okay, we did get the lucky key this is what we're actually looking for so let's see if you could get lucky and get some more lucky keys and you can get it back to back if you are indeed lucky all right so we weren't lucky there let's see if we get any more keys just hoping that i don't get pvp'd okay that is a rare fish that's pretty beautiful absolutely beautiful okay we didn't get anything there all right let's go ahead and just open another one see how lucky we get let's one try okay we did get some more of the fish we were getting a lot of fishes bro i'm not gonna lie a lot of tier fit um tier three fish okay let's go again i'm just hoping that i don't get pvp bro Nice. Okay. And once, if you see someone on the screen, the best idea that I can give, if you don't want to PvP, just leave the zone room, be honest. You don't want to lose your stuff. So what you could basically do is, well, you could actually PvP if, you, if you're able to PvP, but I'll recommend to leave the zone. To not lose any of your gears and you know all that good stuff all right so that's a bot okay so we are safe i think this is a bot zone all right so we did indeed um clear that pond there um i'll definitely try to go to a different zone um you don't have to be fully geared um i'll recommend to be naked in case you get attacked by player but just for video purposes I'll show you guys how to, well, in the purple gear. All right, let's go ahead and enter here. All right, so we weren't able to reset the zone here. I'm guessing someone is already in the zone here. It's a very dangerous thing to wear certain, you know, gears to certain zone, but just for, okay. Sort of video purposes real quick. All right, so as you already saw, um, you know, all you need is any lore could be used. And, well, it's more profitable to then use the basic lures because they're way cheaper to get. So this is how you'd get the lucky key. And this is how you would indeed finish the side quest here and get a bunch of keys. Then you could then, you know, um, assemble all the different weapon parts. Um, but most importantly, what you need is the seal within the space here. Then you could assemble um, any of the weapons. Um, that new weapon does look cool. Also, it seems to have a new effect on it. Um, so this, not this one here, this one was in the season. This one was past season here. You could basically use this mace here to um, de-equip any weapon. I'm doing PvP for a couple of seconds. 
um this is also good bro that's also good but for the Dwarven dagger here it seems pretty cool you know 20 percent chance of creating a fire zone and it slows their movement speed by 35 percent that is also pretty cool so i definitely want to try that out and it looks cool i mean i only have one here so i'm just gonna spin yes sir all right so we didn't get anything of great value and just remind you here that this are the different parts that you'd have to use to assemble these weapons here all right so you can let me know what you think about the side quest here do you think it is worth it to do do you think it's not worth it to do what's your what's your thoughts um you can also join the discord server link in the description below really appreciate y'all for watching and peace